of our death oh, yeah. and victory. Yes. He spoke it. Yeah. He spoke it and it happened. He will swallow up death and victory and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken it. Yes. Yes. I said before, imagine if it stopped at just the wages of sin is death. Mm. What if there was no eternal life to look for? Dying, being erased. We don't know what it's like not to live. So right now we can't even even imagine what it is not to live. But just imagine if God did not defeat death. Imagine, imagine. Jesus. If we didn't have a home to look forward to Jesus. after this, our pastor reminded us and encouraged us last Sunday. We don't even realize what God turned death into. That's right. He turned death into a means of transportation. Jesus. Hallelujah. He deluded death. He made a mockery. He took. The, the sting out of it, which is why now I can understand the scripture, oh death, where is thy sting? Yes. If I did not believe in him, death would be more sorrowful than it already is. If my loved ones are to die in Christ, I'd be happy for them. Because they died in Christ, which is why we call them home going service. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. If my brother died, but professed the gift of the Holy Ghost and was baptized in Jesus' name, repented of all his sins, and he died in Christ. The sorrow would creep in, but then the joy would start to come in. Yes, yes. Because my God defeated death. Oh, yes, Lord. He defeated death. And where we should have seen or should see eternal damnation, we don't. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He took death. And kind of watered it down and diluted it. Yeah. He took the punch and the sting out of it. Yeah. See, a lot of us are afraid to die. Oh, Lord Jesus. Physically, spiritually, we're afraid to die. <laughs> we're afraid to die. We have to remember for those who are dying in Christ, who are believing in Christ, we have an expected end. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We have we have an expected end. Hallelujah. If God never intervened, what would life be like? What would our punishment be like? Jesus. Thank, you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. What would it be like? Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus. What would that torment be like? Jesus. Thank you, Lord. See, when he, when he did what he did, He gave me hope. Yeah. He did. He gave me a future. Yes, Lord. A future. Amen. I'm not talking about two yes, years from now or three years from now. From now. <clears throat> I'm talking about 
talking about transcendence time. I'm talking yes. about that. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. He gave me that hope. He gave me that hope. He defeated death. How does one defeat death? He, before he even, before he even got up, he got others up. My God, Jesus. And that's why I'm afraid we don't even understand the magnitude of what Jesus love. Before he even got up, he got others up. I wish I was alive to see him. Yes. Raise up Lazarus. Hallelujah. The belief I feel that I have now, my belief then, if I were to see him do that, someone who was rotting, spoiling in a cave. Hey, hallelujah. To see them move a stone. Hallelujah. After four days to smell the scent of a decaying body. Jesus. To see them get up mummified. Jesus. To see them Jesus. talk to the dead. Jesus. Talk to something that's a corpse. Jesus. To see that rise up. Jesus. Hallelujah. To see that. Hallelujah. To smell that. Hallelujah, Lord. The hairs be up on my body. There'll be goosebumps to see that. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. And I believe, I believe, I probably would have broke down in tongues when I heard him say, Arise, Lazarus. Hallelujah. I believe I would have broke down in other tongues if he said, Lose him. Because he was not just talking about the physical body, the rapture of it. He was talking about death. He was talking to death. Jesus stepped into the scene. 
Thank you, Lord. And where death would run us rampant. In the name of Jesus. He placed hope. Thank you, Lord. He placed joy. He placed a better future for us. He placed Thank you, Lord. that expected end. And though death is a short thing for us, I'm prepared in my heart and my mind that when I leave this earthly place, I'm moving to a better home. I'm moving to a better home. Thank you for your promise. 
every time where we should be counted out, it causes us to triumph. In times where we feel when we should not see victory, we see victory. Thank you. And we've been walking in it for a while. There's victory all over this place. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There's victory all over this place. Hallelujah. There's victory all over this place. And all glory belongs to him. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Victory all over this place. Outside of these four walls, we all have our own situation that we've been Stop caring about this. And those situations had the opportunity to cultivate and sculpt and build up us into this person that we should be in this moment right now. But I see victory all over this place. There's a lot of broken homes in here. There's a lot of broken up homes in here. A lot of fatherless children. Motherless children. Widows. Ex patients. Hallelujah. Sickness has been amongst a lot of us. Depression. Yeah, 
We give him glory right now. Yeah. yeah. 
We got some glory to look forward to. Yeah. And we think we've seen it all. We have not seen anything yet. Hallelujah. Yes. The glory that will be revealed unto us.
I'm waiting for that day. I'm in great anticipation for that day. You know, they say we're in for a war, wardrobe change. We're in for a wardrobe change. We're changing clothes. My God, I'm gonna stop. We changing clothes. We changing clothes. We was wearing something that was dead. But now get ready to take it off. Jesus. When he went in that grave, he put on something that he had to put on. But then he came out and took it off. He said, this don't belong to me. I wore it for you. I wore it for you, so you don't have to wear it no more. I wore it for you. I wore the clothes for you. I wore the clothes for you. I wore them. I put it on you. Put it on so that when you so that when you die, you don't have to claim that it's yours. I put it on myself. I put it on myself. So that you can be able to change. So that you can be able to change. Oh yes, Lord. I thank God. Yes, Jesus. I thank God. For this dead man's clothes are borrowed. It's borrowed. Yes, Lord. It's just borrowed. It's just temporary. And we step into something eternal. We step into something eternal. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. We come unbelieving before the throne of grace, Father. Before the throne of grace, Father. There's so much gratitude, so much thanks to you, Lord God. Understanding of the fact of what you did upon that cross. For what you had to endure up to that present moment in time. God, we thank you for you enduring every beating, my God. Every spit upon, Lord Jesus. Every word of persecution and crucifixion, my God, upon your body, Lord Jesus. So that you may endure it, endure it with love, Lord Jesus. You thought of us as you was dragging that cross on your back, my God. You thought of us when they stretched your arms to the left and to the right, my God, and they put every nail that they could inside of your body, Lord Jesus. You eyes, my God. You thought of us when they, my God, beat you on your back, my God, and put the thorns, my God, the crown thorns upon your head, Lord Jesus. You thought of us, Lord Jesus. In the midst of that place, my God, you thought of us, my God. And you asked, my God, that you could, my God, Lord Jesus, that you do not know what they do, oh Lord Jesus, my God. And we thank God for that day. Thank you, Jesus. Even though it was gruesome, my God. Even though it was horrific, my God, but it was a beautiful thing, my God. It was a beautiful thing, my God, because that blood that came out of your body, my God, washed us clean, my God, made us white as snow, my God, who was once was dirty and full of shame and guilt and condemnation, my God. But you, your blood, your blood was powerful enough, my God. Your, your blood was precious enough, my God, to purify us. To cleanse us, my God, to make us new, Lord Jesus. And we thank you, my God. But we understand that moment in Calvary, my God. But you, my God, went down to that tomb. And you took a beating to beat death, my God. You took a beating in order to get down to where death was, my God, placed in, my God. And you sat there and you dealt with death. And you took the key, my God. You took the sin and the power from death, my God. You allowed yourself to taste death. So we have an invitation no more, Lord Jesus. And we thank God for you being not only the resurrection, my God, but the resurrection that resides inside of us, oh Lord Jesus, my God. We thank you for you are the victory. Just like victory swallow up death, you are that victory, my God. And we possess the victory that's inside of us, oh Lord Jesus. So we thank you, my God, for the things that you have done, my God. Most of all, for you living inside of us, my God. For you are alive and well, Lord Jesus. But death, my God, has no dominion over you. And death, sure enough, does not have dominion over us because we have the Spirit of God inside of our bodies, inside of our hearts, inside of our souls, Lord Jesus. So when that day comes, my God, when this breath leaves our body, it's just for a moment, my God. And when we taste death for that day, for that night, for that moment, my God, we know that we're going to taste something that's way better than death, that's greater than the man who turned no life, my God, with you, oh Lord Jesus. So we can award your change right now. But we can, by putting on, my God, Lord, we're taking over what's corruptible and putting over what's incorruptible, my God, Lord. And we thank you, my God, for you doing the work for us. 
You need to work inside of us, my God, so we may see you, Lord Jesus. And we bless your holy and righteous name, my God, because we know, my God, without you, we would not be able to see you. We would not be able to see that day, my God. We would be dead and gone, never to rise no more. But you, my God, are the one who resides inside of us. So we are so ever grateful, my God. We are forever grateful, Lord Jesus, for the things that you have done, my God, for the power that you possess, my God, for the wonder working power that you possess, my God, that you are working in us right now, my God, for the suffering of this present time, my God, is not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed inside of us, my God. And we thank God for the suffering. We know that the glory is going to be greater, my God. That the glory is going to be unmatched compared to the suffering, my God. That the glory, my God, is going to what we hope for, my God. But the glory is going to be untouchable, my God, for every pain, every sickness that we live upon this arena. We're going to a place, my God, where it's full of joy, my God, where it's full of love. But it's full of life, Lord, and no sorrow shall come to us, my God. So we thank you, Lord Jesus, my God. We bless your holy and righteous name, my God, and give you all praise and all glory and honor, Lord Jesus. Now, Lord, now, Lord. Our, Lord. our Lord, heal me, heal. and I shall be healed. Shall be. Save me, yes. and I shall be saved. Shall For you be. are our, our praise. praise. Now, come on and give God praise. Thank you, Jesus.